With the controls on your NVR, you can detect motion and set up alerts for specific areas to warn you of potential threats in and around your home. To change the motion detection settings, right click the mouse in live view mode, click the main menu button, then click setup. Click alarm to display the settings. Let's have a look at the settings available. Option number one, channel. Click the drop down menu to select the camera that you would like to adjust. Option number two, mode. This determines how your NVR will detect motion. By default, the PIR and person setting is selected. Your NVR will record motion only if one or more human sized objects have been detected by the camera and the camera's built in PIR sensor. This provides more accurate motion detection by reducing false triggers due to wind, leaves falling and rain. To avoid receiving unnecessary motion notifications and to conserve your camera's battery power, it's best not to choose PIR and motion. Option number three, buzzer. When human sized objects have been detected, you can enable your NVR's buzzer to alert you for a predetermined amount of time. Click the drop down menu to select a time. Option number four, area. This setting allows you to change the default motion detection area. Click the setup button to continue. By default, the whole shaded area in red is set to detect motion, but it's better to create a specific area for motion detection, such as a pathway or an entry point to your home. To remove the default motion detection area, move the mouse to the top left hand corner, then click and drag to the bottom right hand corner. Let's demonstrate that again. Move the mouse to the top left hand corner, then click and drag to the bottom right hand corner. To create a new motion detection area, press and hold the left mouse button to select the cell or square that you want to start at. Then click and drag to select the area that you want to create. Release the mouse button to finish. Multiple areas can be created. Each cell or square can be enabled to detect motion. The same action also applies to delete an area that has been created. In this example, a motion detection area has been created for the front yard but excludes objects such as trees as well as cars and pedestrians adjacent to the front yard of the house. Anyone who walks along the path via the front entrance and approaches the front door will be detected. When finished, right click the mouse to exit. Option number five, sensitivity. This option allows you to change the motion sensitivity level. The higher the number, the more sensitive your MVR will be when detecting motion. We recommend conducting a test to see if the sensitivity level is correct for the camera's location. Option number six, distance. You can adjust the setting that determines the distance on how your MVR will detect human sized objects. Use your mouse to increase or decrease the distance detection level. Just be aware that increasing the distance may increase the frequency of false alarms and consume battery power at a higher rate. Option number seven, send email. When enabled, your MVR can email you an alert when motion has been detected. The email will contain the time, date, and a snapshot of the event created. Click the checkbox to enable. Option number eight, picture to the cloud and video to the cloud. Enabling these two options allows your MVR to upload snapshots and the video events to the cloud via Dropbox. Click each checkbox to enable. Cloud activation is required to upload your snapshots and video events via Dropbox. Please see the instructions below this video on how to do this. Option number nine, show message and push. We recommend leaving these options enabled so you can receive alerts in live view mode on your NVR and push notifications on your mobile device via the Swan Security app. When you're finished, click the apply button to save any settings changed. 
Let's have a look at some motion detection tips. The ideal placement of your cameras is close to the front door, back door, garage entrance and overlooking the backyard. This will give you the best possible coverage to the entrance and exits of your residence. Place cameras so they are facing areas where people must walk through to approach your home, regardless of where they are headed. Walk around your house and assess where intruders are most likely to approach to enter and what path they would take. When installing cameras outside, it's important to keep your front and backyard as well lit as possible for ideal night vision and the ability to detect motion. You can find more information about your NVR at support.swan.com. Search for all secure manual. Thanks for watching.